Hi everybody, it's Paul Wagner, the Software Magician, and I'm here today to show you a few tips about how to make a happier, healthier outlook. Six tips, in fact. And the reason for this is come from a lot of people who call me who say their outlook is running slowly. Now, in half the cases at least, their outlook is running slowly because they didn't know it, but they're running on a Trojan or a virus or some sort of hack, spyware, that has nothing to do with Outlook. And unfortunately, Outlook gets the blame for it. Assuming you're not running on any of those, I would like to show you some of those tips right down here. So Outlook is a database. And because it's a database, it has to be maintained. It does require some periodic maintenance in order to keep it trimmed down so that it loads quickly and accesses its internal items quickly also. If it doesn't, if it gets too big, you'll have slow performance, slow backups, even slow recoveries should Outlook have some corruption. It is a database. However, before we begin on these tasks down here, let's begin with a fast backup. And we'll see, in so doing, how big is too big. I'm going to go up here to File. And I'm going to click on Data File Management down there at about in the middle. And then I'm going to click on this Personal Folders. And in here, you will see that it's Outlook PST is the file name to which all of Outlook information is stored. All mail, calendar, contacts, tasks, notes, all of these items are stored in a file called Outlook.pst. Much like Word stores its information in a docx or Excel and XLSX. And rather than sliding this to the right to see the path of where it is, I can find out where it is simply by clicking on this open folder. Here's my open folder, and it's already highlighted as Outlook.pst. So here's all I have to do. I'm going to go up to my account settings again, highlight that instance of the window, close that. I'm in fact going to close Outlook up here in the upper right. And now what I'm going to do is for the fast backup, I'll simply do a control C, which we all know is a copy. And then I'm going to do a control V, which we all know is a paste. And what do you know? It's going to back up Outlook. Now, I see that it's going to take a long time because it's a very big file. And as I had already said, that's going to slow you down. Let's come back to that. Dum -li -dum -li -dum -dum, staring at the clock, wishing life would be a little faster. Here's something else to ponder. When I am done, and many of you have already probably caught on to this, I have, although I have made a copy of my Outlook.pst, it is not safe. In fact, it is not safe at all because it resides on the same hard drive as the original Outlook. So if my hard drive crashes, I'm still left without any sort of Outlook and or backup because they were both on the same hard drive. So what you might think about doing is going down and spending like, what, eight bucks on an eight gig pen drive and copying this file off to your pen drive and, say, and keep it on your key ring so that wherever you are, however you are in your entire life, whatever happens, fire, floods, hurricanes, whatever, you have your Outlook PST on your little pin drive on your key ring. It's cheap enough and safe. That so what is this going to look like when we're all done? What you will see down here is a copy of Outlook PST of the same size as you see above. Choose your, you may choose either to drag those to your pin drive. And so now that I've backed this up, I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to relaunch Outlook. So here we are back in Outlook. And now that we've done our <clears throat> fast backup, it's time to attack Outlook using these other procedures in order to improve our performance. So first and foremost, let's look at remove junk and deleted items. To do this, I will simply click over on Mail and then click on deleted items. 
Now, I don't have too many here, but you'll notice it takes some time to load this, and that unto itself can take time away from your day. I once remember an old mentor that told me that never keep your watch in your trash can. That means, in terms of Outlook, don't keep things that you think you might need in the deleted items folder. All you have to do is right click on deleted items and then empty deleted items folder. And you click there and it says, do you want to permanently delete all these items? That means they're going away forever. The only place they are right now is in our backup. That is now cleared. The next thing I want to do is clear my junk email. So I'll right click there and jump, empty my junk email folder. Also to be permanently deleted. Now, let's go and attack the database from a deeper level. And before we do that, we need to see, well, what is taking up that 4.2 gig? I'm going to click on Tools, and here we have Mailbox Cleanup. You'll notice that here we can find items that are older than 90 days. I'm not so interested in those. And find items larger than 250 kilobytes. That's going to be, you know, half my database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 1,000 kilobytes. That's one megabyte. I would like to find all the emails bigger than one megabyte. And when I click the find, it'll go off and search for those. Apparently, some of these are in my inbox. Some of these are in my sent items. But you can probably gather very quickly that I really probably don't need any number of these items that are too big. I'm going to click on the first one, which I've done here. I'm going to scroll down, not down to here. I'll hold my shift key down and hit click. And then I'm going to actually hold my shift key down and press the delete key. If I want to go ahead and do an archive, it's very straightforward. I'll just say File. And I come down and I say Archive. And I can choose to archive items older than any date that I prefer. Now, archiving into itself means taking out older information and separating it from your main Outlook.pst file and putting it in some other place, for example, another file like Archive 2009, where I've been storing mine. And it's time to archive parts of 2010. So I can simply say Archive 2010, literally typing it over here. But I don't want all of 2010, obviously. But I do want everything up through, say, June. So I'm going to drop this down, and I'm going to go up to June 2010. And in truth, I'm going to take July 1st, because I want items older than July 1st. I don't want anything in July, but it will take June 30th, the day before, and I'm going to put it in archive. So now I can go ahead and click OK. Down at the bottom here, you'll see that it's archiving this information, and it will literally go through all of my folders, mail, notes, journals, calendars, tasks, events. It will not go through any of my contacts because contacts are not archived. It's an Outlook simply won't do it. How do I know that it's archived? Well, I can go up to File, Data File Management. Here I've created a new archive file right there. So it's telling me that I've created a new one and it's sitting in there. That's how we archive. Next, I'd like to show you this Outlook in safe mode. If your Outlook is running slowly, it may be an add-in that you're running to the add-in list. How do you find that list? You go up to Tools, go to the Trust Center, and look at your add-ins. Here they all are. You can control them by down here, Manage Your Com Add-ins. You click on Go, and this is where you can turn on and off 
you'll have to reboot Outlook for that to take effect. However, if I wanted to run in Outlook safe mode so that I automatically turn off all of those add-ins and a few other features, I can close Outlook and in my toolbar I can click on start and run and I can say Outlook space forward slash safe and that allows me to enter Outlook in safe mode and it'll tell me I'm running in safe mode now by in here so if this improves your performance then you know that you have an add-in issue that you'll have to remove them one at a time or half of them and take the problem and work it down to find out exactly which add-in is slowing up your machine so I'm going to get back into Outlook now by closing Outlook and returning to it normally. Next, I'd like to show you how we can compress Defrag Outlook. It's very simple. Click on File, go to the Data File Management Center, highlight your personal folders, and then go to Settings. Here you will see Compact Now. This is really going to shrink your Outlook because it's going to take out all those deleted areas now and literally compact it. So I say compacting. This will take a while, so I'll come back. So when we're done, let's see what we've ended up with. Say OK to this. And here we're sitting on the personal folders. I'm going to go back to open folders to see my file size. So my Outlook PST is now very much less than 4.2 gigabyte. It's now 1.03 gigabyte. So it's shrunk. It's 25% of the amount that it used to be. So we've got a good size file now and this is going to be performing much faster than the 4.2 and over. So I'll say close to this. Now the last piece of the puzzle is the calendar and it's not a big deal but I recommend that you at least set some calendars, recurring calendar events to backups and for your archiving, you can turn on your auto archiving and compress monthly to keep this nightmare from occurring because when it's compressed it will perform faster. So that's it. There's your six tips for maintaining a healthy and happy outlook. Now if you'd like more information or you'd like more in-depth understanding of how Outlook works at many levels, go over and visit my website, softwaremagician.com, where you'll find a whole bunch of resources, articles, tips, and connect with me at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And by all means, check here on the right, Outlook 2007 for Business Digital Video Course. This is a digital course online that will help you build your business by helping you know better how to connect with people. Outlook is like getting your own electronic assistant. And here's where you'll find a page where you can order Outlook training inexpensively and help you through your business. That's all for now. Take care.